Hey, what's up guys? Clawstorm here back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy rune farm without cheating or exploiting the game. Let's get it. All right, now keep in mind this may not be the quickest rune farm ever, but it is a great early game rune farm and it is a great way to secure a lot of runes without cheating or without breaking the game. You know, me personally, I like to play within the rules of the game, but sometimes you need more runes to buy more smithing stones or, or something else that you really need in the game really quickly. This rune farm is actually gonna take place over here at the Ferrum Great Bridge. Now, this is kind of a high level area and there is something on this bridge that wants to kill you in typical Souls fashion. So let's find a way around for our new guys. The way around is actually going to start here at the third church of Maraca. So go ahead and teleport there. Great. Now, once you're at the church, if you head off to the side here, there's actually, you might see a little bit of a, a mystical coloring over in this area down here. Go ahead and follow that. And at the end, you're going to find this teleporter. Go ahead and take the teleporter to another location. All right, so we've taken the teleporter and now we are at the Bestial Sanctum. This is a good area to have unlocked. You'll notice right behind us, there's this guy. Don't fight this guy. Just don't. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go around this guy. And down over here. Maybe hop on our little trusty steed. We're going to head towards the bridge. Now, before we start fighting anything, it's really important to head towards the bridge because there are two things. There is a golden seed, as you will see right here. Go ahead and pick that up when you get the chance. And you'll see here that there is a side of grace. Go ahead and pick that up as well. All right, once you're rested up and ready to go, go ahead and traverse the area. These little guys right here, these are gonna be our rune sugar daddies, that's right. Now, something to keep in mind is these guys are e really easy to stagger, but man, they do hit like a brick shit house. I'm telling you what. So make sure to hit them very quickly and not get hit by them because as you see here, you're going to lose a lot of health. Now, it's also important to note that you should try and fight these guys just one at a time unless you're a really experienced souls player. If you look here, they do stagger really easy and they're really easy to knock and they give about a thousand souls a piece. After I'm done here, you can keep heading uh, north. If you keep heading north, you'll notice that there's a couple more, but they are some of them that are allocated into little groups. Try to avoid the groups uh, because if you start fighting more than one at a time, it almost turns into a mini boss fight. And if you look, just in this little time that I've been here, I've made about 10,000 runes. This is a really easy way to have a little cash grab if you need to grab some runes to level up really quick or if you need to uh, buy smithing stones or other equipment. Now, as I mentioned in my smithing stone video, I like to include at least one trick that somebody might have missed. So here we are. In the game, you may find yourself coming across these rainbow stones. They're actually really useful because if you use one, drop it off a cliff and it breaks, that means you're not gonna survive the fall. But if it doesn't break, that means you're safe. And it really is as simple as that. You should be able to net almost 10,000 runes every few minutes. If you guys have any questions about that or about anything else, we do stream on Twitch almost every day. So there'll be a link in the description below. I also wanted to say thank you to everybody who watched my Darth Maul Twin Blade video. Right now, it's sitting at over 30,000 views, and it's the most viewed video I've ever made, so thank you for that. And as always, thank you for watching. 